In this video, I'm going to show you all how I installed functional Briggs using Vortex Mod Manager. I'm going to assume that you already have Vortex set up to mod Starfield and have already used a couple of mods that worked. I will not be showing you how to enable modding for Starfield or set up Vortex in this video. If you want me to make a video about that, I can, but there are plenty out there already. There is a link in the description where to download functional Briggs from Nexus. Once you are there, if you click on the drop down menu here, it will show you that you need plugins.txt enabler in order for this mod to work. Once you get to the mod page for plugins, you will notice that you will need Starfield Script Extender or SFSE installed. There's a link in the description for both of these mods. In the description for SFSE, it says that you should install manually by putting all the files from the mod into your games folder. You can get to that folder by opening Vortex, going to the the mods tab and ticking on the drop down menu here where it says open from here just click on open games folders here you can move over the .exe and .dll files that were downloaded from the mod. Also move over the file from the source file or SRC file to the SRC file in the games folder. Personally, I downloaded and installed SFSE using Vortex and so far it's been working great. Uh, if you do this, make sure it's enabled. Vortex should automatically see it and add it to your dashboard and you can run it from here or you could tick the three dots here and set it to primary and every time you run the game from Vortex from the top, it will run SFSE. You will need to run the game using SFSE every time you play the game if you want functional Briggs to work. Now you will need to install plugins.txt using Vortex. Just click the Mod Manager download button on the files page. Vortex should do everything else. Make sure it's enabled. Finally, you can install functional Briggs. I have made this mod work by installing it two different ways. The easiest way is to go to the Files tab on the Mod page and click on the Mod Manager manager download. Vortex should download and install. Make sure it's enabled. Now open your app data file by going to the mods tab in Vortex and ticking on the pull down menu that says open. Click on open game application data folder. From here you will need to create a text file by right clicking and selecting new then text document. Name the document plugin. Just like you see on the screen, open the document using notepad, type the pound sign at the top and press enter. Now type an asterisk mark, then jail.esm. I will type this in the description so you can copy and then paste it. Make sure to save the file and exit. The mod should work now. The only other way I've got this mod to work is by installing manually. Just go to the files tab on the mod page here and click on manual download. You will have to extract these files using something like 7-Zip or Renoir, and you should end up with a folder with files like this. Now go to the Mods tab in Vortex and tick on the Open dropdown once again and select Open Game Folder. From here, open the Data Folder. From here, you can copy over the jail.esm file. Now open the Scripts folder here and also here from the downloaded mod. Copy all the .pex files over from the mod folder to the games folder. Now open the source folder in both the games folder and the downloaded mod folder. Copy over all the .psc files from the mods downloaded folder to the games folder. You will still need to create a text file called plugins with the hashtag and the jail.esm saved to it, just like we did earlier. These are both ways I have made this mod working using Using Vortex as a mod manager. If this video helped you, then don't forget to subscribe. I'm Joey Keith, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Later.